All right, today we've got two of Legends Explorer series. This is their snow series. So this is gonna have a front ramp and rear ramp. This is gonna be specifically for snowmobiles, but obviously other applications as well. These are two seven and a half wide by 23s. So this is gonna be an 18 foot square plus a five foot nose. You've got a five foot nose because you got a four foot ramp in the front that you gotta compensate for. And then seven and a half wide. So this is a new model feature from Legend. They just gives you that six inches more width. And you'll see that when we shoot it from the backside of no fenders on the inside, like an eight or eight and a half will have. It's a straight wall. And this also gives you your max width. So in, if you had a, you know, a tractor with a cab, a side by side with doors, this is gonna allow you to get them open and get out of that machine. So nice little uh, trailer. We'll start at 17 feet long, single axle. And these will go all the way up to 31 feet. Uh, this trailer specifically, again, is a 23-footer. So let's look at a few options that we've had on this and along with standards. All right, so let's start with a few standard options. You're gonna have your 30 by 68 standard side door from Legend. They do put it on the road side on this series. Doesn't mean you have to, we can specify it on elsewhere. Your ramp as well is roadside. So one advantage that I like, I have this trailer specifically. And again, you can park tight to a snow bank and you can still unload or get in. Or if there was a problem in the trailer, get a little bit easier getting in from the driver's side um, if you had to run back to the trailer and check something out. So it can be on either side, but the way that they build this Explorer series is roadside door, roadside ramp. Starting with the three by six main tongue again, the Legend Signature Series tongue with your two and five sixteenths ball. You got your 2,000 pound tongue jack. We do upgrade it to the extreme cold weather plug because again, we're expecting that most people are using this for snowmobiling in the cold. You got your stainless cam bars again, your aluminum dot tie back on your door, all kind of standard stuff through their series uh, or their more elite series. The nice thing that this trailer is gonna come with standard is your 24 inch kick wall. So that's your brown three quarter inch uh, engineered wood up the side along with a white wall to finish it off to the top of the trailer. It's gonna come with a white ceiling as well. So this is a very featured trailer as a standard model. Um, we can't order it a different way that way. What we can do is you'll see in the other trailer, but this comes standard with a helmet box along with your fuel doors on the side, depending on how long is depending on how many fuel doors you have in this trailer. But these are standard options, which you can delete. It's still gonna be at your cost, but if you don't want that hanging there for your helmets or your jackets, or you don't want those fuel doors in there because of whatever reason, you can make that trailer custom to you. All right, so moving back to the trailer, this Explorer series is gonna come with a tandem set of axles on this 23 footer. Torsion rubber axles again, 235 hundred pounders, and you're gonna have brakes on all four wheels along with 15 inch aluminum rims. So that's a standard. Can you upgrade to 52 inch axles? Absolutely. We've got a staggered system for your D-rings in this trailer as per where your sled would be on staggering them throughout. This is a 23 footer, so this is a three sled trailer and you can check out some other videos that I've done with the sleds actually loaded in the trailer. Um, what you're gonna have, again, seeing down the line, but you're gonna start a sled on that side. That's why there's a D-ring over there for the front, but you're gonna start it on that side, move to the next, and then the last one will be on that side again. And you're driving in from the front, towards the back to drive out the back. This is gonna give you your, uh, you know, the ample room to put that back end of the last sled into the V-nose and maximize you know, getting three sleds in a shorter trailer. What we've also done on this trailer, standard ramp, but we've done this sport flap. Again, I've talked in other videos, we don't do the standard flap because it has that piano hinge across it and the ski carbides do catch on that. So the sport flap is what we've put on the back and rear ramp. On this back ramp, what we've done is added an extra set of hinges along with two extra uprights in the ramp and done their upgraded heavy duty ramp kit. Again, we don't know what someone's buying it for. It could be a heavier side-by-side, -side, could be a tractor. So we've done this on our stock unit. Again, a standard would just be your standard ramp. This is the heavy duty ramp. We've also added your reverse lights. So this will come on with your vehicle in reverse. It will automatically turn those lights on and help you for backing up at night or in the snow. 
And lastly, what we've done on this one, this is a seven foot tall overall height, and we've added that spoiler feature on the back with the two load lights. So you do have a load light standard on your front ramp. Whenever you add this spoiler feature, that's gonna, you know, they've talked about take the backdraft off your ramp, keep it a little cleaner for snow and that sort of thing. And it also has the two LED dome lights shining down on your ramp for loading at night. So down the walls, you'll see lights, uh, a couple dome lights are standard that way. Again, you get a good view of the white wall, white ceiling, and we have mounted a spare tire on that wall. Again, you can hide them in the floor, the spare tires, you can mount them on the wall, you can have them loose, but they are handy to have. So think about that when you're ordering your trailer. All right, so we're at the second trailer. Again, another seven and a half, 23, but this is my personal trailer. So I've had a couple legends over the years. My last one was a 723 Deluxe, which absolutely loved the build of the Deluxe and the look of the Deluxe, but I wanted to have the front ramp this time. And I wanted to have a little bit wider trailer for a side-by-side -side with a cab. So we've gone to this. I also have a Kubota tractor, so a little bit heavier. So I've done a 12 inch centers on center for walls, ceiling and floor in this trailer. I've done a no-show beaver tail. So we've done in a deluxe video before a 24 inch no-show beaver tail. This is actually a 48. So it's bringing that peak, you know, four feet inside that trailer. So it's great for my side by side um, to give me extra height. This is a seven foot tall, so 84 inch tall trailer. And what that beaver tail actually does is instead of losing the three inches of header on this trailer and having 81 on the door, I now have 84 inches true on the door. So I have 84 on the door opening and 84 inside to load what I need to. So upgraded the frame, upgraded the ramp, just the same as the other trailer of adding that extra hinge, adding the extra two uprights, because again, loading a heavier side-by-side -side and a tractor. I added an extra set of tail lights and the reverse lights again and again sorry it's dirty uh but hey we're sledding and uh, this is this is the season so let's hop in what i've done for my personal trailer again in tying down tractors tying down snowmobiles side by sides four wheelers um and, and of course moving uh we, we're always moving and you're always doing stuff but what, what this is is called e-track so along the perimeter i've done the e-track and that's more for tying down the tractors and the side-by-sides because it's gonna go into that two by four perimeter frame. Down the center, what I've done is just a, a single strip and that's just to cross tie the sleds is its purpose. I'm not really tying down a tractor to it, but it's just more to cross tie whenever I've got three sleds in here that they aren't shifting and, and rubbing and, and marking up paint. So on the walls, I've done two rows. And again, it's lots, but when you think about it, if you're holding up a fridge, if you're holding up couches, whatever, some things are low, some things are high, but what that does is allow you to tie something to the wall and not have to have it tied down to the floor and move on you. So e-tracking is what that's called. It comes in 10 foot sections, super easy to install with self tappers. Um, the other thing that I did is I did rubber mats. So these are just your generic rubber mats that you can buy for a workout room or half inch you know, rubber mats so they weren't real heavy to add weight and also to maneuver and cut. But what I've done is just done that for the ski carbides and uh, the studs so it won't rip up the floor. Um, the carbides do stay on top of this engineered wood flooring. The studs, if you spin them, will spin it up. So, you know what I mean? It's just something that I've learned from the other legends and loading and unloading and reversing of just, you know what I mean? I wanted this one to stay a little nicer. So I didn't screw them all down by any means. They're, they're flexible and they're removable so I can clean it out if it does have water in it or something that way. Um, the two things you will notice that I mentioned on the other trailer, I deleted the two fuel doors in the side. I just like the look of the seamless kind of exterior from the outside and I did delete the helmet box. Um, you know what I mean? The pros and cons to the helmet box, of course, is somewhere to store. I've got a snowmobile bag that holds it all. And the other thing that when you're tying down, you get up real quick and you hit that in the back of your head. After a few times you say, maybe I wouldn't order that. So something to think about. It's not for everyone. It is for some people, but just pros and cons on that. The other thing we'll talk about, we'll look at the front ramp. Uh, I've done some ski track uh, or track guides, let's say, or track grips uh, to come up that ramp along with some transition flaps, I call them, to kind of gap the in between the ramp and the floor. And that just keeps the snow out of there too for when you're putting it back up. But it's just some little things that I added extra. Um, the last thing that you saw in the other trailer was a two-tone color and that is standard with the Explorer series. So you can do their standard colors, you can do their upgraded colors and mix and match front and back to whatever you want. I wanted a solid color because I got a few different trucks between myself and my father and work and just wanted one solid color. So I, I chose to do both colors the same. There's no extra cost or, or extra savings, but it just was what I wanted and did that. And I also upgraded to a 40 mil panel 
So the 30 mil panel is your standard panel of thickness, and that's what that is. The 40 mil panel is just that much thicker and just much, that much longevity of that panel being more solid and give it a little more rigidness when I am hauling a 4,000 pound tractor in this trailer. It just all helps with that 12 inch centers on the structure along with that exterior panel. So hope you like my trailer. I just got it a month ago and I can't wait to get sledding. All right, just to wrap up today's video, this again was the Legend Explorer series snow trailer from that you can get from 7x17 seven anywhere up to 7.5x17 and, and then also uh, longer up to 31 feet. So a few width options, a few length options of course depending on what you want for sleds. These two behind me are 23 footers so good for three sleds and that is long track or short track. Again check out some other videos where we have three 146s loaded in this trailer. Um, Standard features on that Explorer, uh, the black and charcoal, so two-tone color is standard. Uh, again, you can mix and match which colors at that point, uh, but we chose black and charcoal on this order. Uh, we upgraded to seven inch, seven foot height, so six inch height increase on that trailer. Uh, it comes standard with the white walls, white ceiling, your helmet box, your fuel doors, um, that kind of thing. A couple other upgrades on that trailer was the flaps on the ramp. So that sport flap, better for the snowmobile carbides. The rear spoiler, which gives you your load lights and a little, uh, little extra feature like the one behind me. We upgraded the rear ramp to be a heavy duty rear ramp. Uh, and then on my personal trailer, of course, we showed you some tie down options and some mat options that I did personally, uh, but also of how you can make this a single color trailer, how you can delete some options if you don't, don't need them, um, how you can add some sp snowmobile specific options with those track grips up the front ramp or transition flaps and e-track tie downs and rubber mats and that sort of thing. Uh, I added a couple of extra lights down the side, the clearance lights at the top, there's a few extra ones of those so it lights up at night a little different going down the road but more importantly, the reverse lights and the extra set of tail lights on mine and stop lights. So a few different features. Uh, the 7,000 pound drop jack is on mine, um, where the other one had your 2,000 pound standard jack and they both got upgraded with the extreme cold seven pin prong uh, wiring for the extreme snow, just a little more flexible rubber that doesn't get hard when it is like today, minus 15 out and uh, it's still movable and doesn't crack and doesn't break. So just little features that help you out with your trailer. So give me a call today and we'll set up uh, what you need for your specific sleds or your specific needs of, of trailers.